What's going on everybody? It's your man Tony back with another episode of Conquer Your Kitchen and today I am representing the shy. Chicago, my hometown where I've been living my entire life, born and bred right here in the city of Chicago. Well, right now I live in the suburbs but I'm still a Chicago boy and today we are tackling you can call it a pizza pot pie, you can call it an upside down pizza, but it originates from a place right here in Chicago called the Chicago Pizza Oven and Grinder Company. It's, in, uh, so, it's up on the north side, it's in Lincoln Park, it's right by the Lincoln Park Zoo, so if you come to Chicago and you go to the zoo, make sure you go to this place, okay? I don't know if you ever heard of it before, but check out this picture. This is awesome I, i've been there a couple of times and the, the the pizza the concept of taking a pizza and basically flipping it upside down and turning it into a pot pie come on come on but it's real simple i'm gonna show you guys how to do it right here so if you live in chicago and you don't want to deal with going to the restaurant you make it at home if you don't live in chicago once again make it wherever you are all right so let's jump down to these ingredients and get this thing going i have some mushrooms i have some provolone cheese i have some melted butter and then my sauce okay and i'll get into that in a second i have hot jardinera for you guys that have been around since the beginning of conquer your kitchen you know that if there's an opportunity for me to make it spicy i'm gonna do it jardinera is another chicago uh, condiment okay or side side I was gonna say side piece <laughs> it's not even a side it's a condiment okay but it's it's peppers and carrots and cauliflower and celery and it's it's spicy and it's tangy and it's going into this pizza okay so for the sauce um, I just have some some it's, it's basically what I would use for a pasta sauce the way I like it is basically my pizza sauce and I added some onions and some Italian sausage all right and then I have some pizza dough you can use frozen pizza dough if you want yeah you know if you want to if you want to go that route uh, but I just have some homemade pizza dough here because it's really easy to make okay so we're just gonna take that cut it in half because I'm going to do two of these and then this is very important as well you're going to need some kind of ramekin or oven proof bowl uh, something to bake these in okay so make sure whatever you have is actually oven proof and if you've been around again for a while you'll know these came from the creme brulee I use these for those too so stick those aside and then we're just going to get our pizza dough rolled out I don't have my rolling pin should have had that ready but now I do all right so you want to get this it depends on the size of your bowl because this is going to go over the top and it's going to you know hug the sides a little bit so you want it to be woo, easy fella you definitely want it to be larger than that so let's go ahead and get this rolled out and then we'll get back into it and it doesn't have to be you know a perfect round circle of course that helps but doesn't have to be so let's just get this rolled out all right so we got our pizza dough rolled out and if yours is <laughs> kind of wonky like mine well it's no big deal just kind of shape it shape it pull it twist it turn it get it into a general circular shape like that and then you're good to go all right so let's just lay these over here for right now and show you the construction of this deal it's really not hard at all so oh, i almost forgot where my oh here it is first you want to do first thing you want to do is get some melted butter in the bottom of this ramekin okay again butter makes everything better and I have to be very careful because I have never gotten anything on my hawk sweater and I don't want to start tonight by the way thanks Laura Laura um, is a good friend of mine we used to work together and uh, one day she surprised me and got me this nice Jonathan Taze jersey sweater sweater sorry <laughs> I'd have hockey people out there flipping out if I called it a jersey. All right, so let's get our 
cheese in there. So get in the bowl. All right. So we just get a piece on the bottom, and I have, I have uh, three pieces per. So we just line that up there like that, and get this one in. And this one I'll do a little bit different. So you know, you just want to get it in there. Get it in there because what's going to happen is when this comes out of the oven and you flip it, this is going to be on top. <laughs> Trust me guys, you're going to like this one. If you like pizza, you'll like this, okay? And I know I have some people out there that are from the East Coast and Jersey and New York and you know, they're always coming down on Chicago pizza. But, you know, just like you were raised there and that's what you like, I was raised here and, and this is what I like. So, you know, and I got five and four. That's not gonna work. So you are gonna get cut in half. So now I got four and a half and four and a half. All right, so our mushrooms are in. And then you come back with your sauce. And you just do a nice scoop of that. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Because, you know, yeah <laughs> and then for me I like to throw some jardinera on there and that's not gonna work all right so then I'll just scoop a little bit of this on there and a little bit of this on there and then we're gonna get this thing and cover it all up throw it in the oven and in about 20 minutes, welcome to paradise. All right. So to put your crust on, here you go there right there. Put your crust on, you just lay it over the top. Lay it over the top. And then just kind of tuck it a little bit. You don't want to make it too tight. But, you know, you just kind of make it, make it look cute. Just like that. See? There we go. Do the second one, then we'll get them in the oven. All right, guys. That's it. I told you it came together easy. I don't want you guys going nuts in your kitchen, okay? It's called Conquer Your Kitchen for a reason. Take your kitchen back. Don't let that kitchen tell you that you can't do what you want to do in the kitchen. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get these in the oven, and in about 20 minutes, I'm going to come back and we got this thing going. Be right back. Well, I got one out, and there's the second one. Let's move those over where you can actually see them. Guys, that is so, these things are so amazing, I'm telling you. Now, the moment of truth is getting ready to come when I get ready to flip it out onto the plate. That's gonna be the fun part. So anyway, once these come out, you hit the top with some more melted butter. You just get all around there, you make a mess, it doesn't matter, you can clean it up. And you give it that nice glow. Yeah, baby. And then what I like to do is just sprinkle it with a little bit of oregano on top there, just like that. And yeah, I'm gonna do this one. All right, so then you just basically pop the edges. The pop top wants to come right off. Flip it over, and this is hot. And all of that goodness comes out, and it has its own little bowl. <laughs> and if that's not heaven, I don't know what is. That's called pizza heaven. All right. So we got our mushrooms in there. We got our cheese, our sauce. You guys know what you guys know what time it is. All my regular viewers, this is when we get in here and make haste with no waste. All right. So we just cut that open, and this is gonna be hot. So bear with me. Uh 
I missed the mushroom. Mmm. <laughs> it's like, I can't even explain it. It's cheesy. And it, you know what it tastes like. It tastes like pizza. So stop watching this video now and go make it. Okay? But before you stop watching, click the subscribe button. Share this video. This is one that you guys can share with everybody, okay? So do me a favor. Go down in the video, in the description, find the share button. Click on share, copy the link. Take that link, throw it onto your Facebook page, throw it onto your Instagram, throw it onto your Twitter, wherever. Just share it. Do me that solid, all right? Because I want everybody to experience this. My hometown, Chicago, Blackhawks. I did the White Sox a couple of weeks ago. I love my city. I don't love the winters. I hate the winters, <laughs> but I love my city, especially when it comes to food, all right? So, until I see you guys again next time, I just want to say thank you for coming by and letting me help you conquer your kitchen. And so, until I see you again, I just want to say, go Hawks, peace out. God bless you. Bye-bye.